Hey Andre, this is Adam with Perkins Motorplex helping Chris get you a video. We're going to do a walk around on our 2017 Chevy 2500 High Country. This vehicle is in great condition. I think it'll be something you'll be super proud to have in your driveway. And of course it does come with the option of adding on at 65,000 miles the bumper to bumper as well as powertrain protection. Uh, that is a factory type coverage that covers everything from all your displays, all your technology, all the uh, sensors, anything really on the engine, transmission, all of that's covered as well as AC and things like that. Uh, Chris will go into greater detail on that, I'm sure, but I'll just go ahead and dive right into the video. We'll go ahead and walk around this vehicle and try to find anything that we notice. We'll point that out to you to make you fully aware. Looks like right here is a really slight spot. I honestly thought it was a spider web, but it's not wiping right off, so I don't want to pull at it. But there is a tiny little spot on the left front fender. Tires appear to be brand new. Those right there still have the nipple on the sidewall. Uh, wheels are in wonderful condition. Of course, those are factory. Suspension components, nice and tight. No issues when we drove it or anything like that that I'm aware of. Does have the fixed running boards has the trailering mirrors that do extend out from the vehicle uh, both of those are in great condition and then they fold flat to the vehicle as well as you go through car washes or drive throughs does have the chrome door handles to match up with the chrome trim on the doors have below the windows the backs of the mirrors and then the running boards and the wheels does have the uh, looks like a folding top tonneau cover on it as well it's always nice to keep your bed nice and dry <clears throat> coming around to the rear of the vehicle it does have the locking tailgate also has the really nice bed liner in it it's in wonderful condition not noticing it being eaten up or you know chopped to pieces or anything like that from heavy hauling it's always a really good thing to be available to say <laughs> um, going around to the other side of the vehicle on the passenger side I'm not noticing door dings and things like that I'm never one to tell you that a vehicle is in perfect condition, of course, because it is used. However, I'm not noticing anything really to report, and that's really good news as well. Coming down the side, again, that was just a piece of watermark. That's brushing right off as well. I think that was a bug. Got a couple little spots right there up on the hood. This is where you're more prone to notice like uh, paint chips and things like that, Ro uh, rocks off the road and things like that will hit and make contact. There's one, there's a couple right there together. But, I mean, overall, I, you can tell I'm really trying to find something to be able to report to you. Everything's in great condition. Does have the chrome tow hooks as well. Uh, no condensation in the headlights or fog lights. We'll go ahead and next and get underneath it. Show you what it looks like underneath. Not noticing anything really to draw attention to or alert you of. Again, great news. Very clean. We'll go ahead and hop inside next. Oops, sorry. Inside with the High Country uh, Edition. Obviously, it's going to have a lot of the perks and bells and whistles and things like that that aren't standard on other trucks. You'll notice the leather in the rear is in perfect condition. No signs of even a car seat being put inside. It does come with the carpeted floor mats as well that came with it, it looks like, from factory. It's got the sliding back glass. No stains in the headliner. It does have the really nice big sunroof. I'm pretty much a human bowling ball with legs. About five foot ten, about two ninety. I can fit very comfortably. Lots of leg room. Usually, if I fit pretty well, most anybody will. We'll go ahead and hop up front though, because I know that's not going to be your point of view. It does have the power seat. Also, does have the memory seating settings. Power windows, power locks, power mirrors, and then of course your child safety locks. Now this vehicle does come with one key and fob has lock unlock and remote start we'll go ahead and keep the key in hand hop inside to turn it over for you we'll go ahead and shut that door 
74,660 for the mileage. No other lights or messages on in the dash. That AC is blowing nice and cold. Appreciate that. As you can see, it's showing about 91 degrees inside the truck. Now this one does have the dual climate control, what I call his and hers. I'm gonna turn that down just so you can hear me a little better. There we go. Does have the park aid sensors, cargo bed lamp, adjustable pedals, lots of charging ports as well underneath, which is always handy, of course, for longer trips and things like that. Very practical. It does have the heated seats for the seat back, seat back and bottom as well as ventilated seats. So it turns the AC on in the seat. Uh, it reacts a lot quicker. I've drive a Buick LaCrosse. This one's already starting to cool me down. My car doesn't do it quite that quick. It does also have the Bose audio. I like to point that out. It has the dual glove boxes, top and bottom. Again, leather's in wonderful shape. It has the really nice, big center uh, console. And then underneath here, got a lot of like cargo space, cup holders, then there's the divider, things like that. Over here, you can see your four wheel drive switch. On the center cluster, you've got navigation, you've got your phone, you've got the projection option as well, weather alerts, uh, text as well through the phone, uh, through the truck. And then you've got other apps and things like that that you can have access to, as well as the My Chevrolet app, of course. But overall, man, it's just super sharp truck. I'll go ahead and end the video, send this over to you. If you have any questions, let Chris know.